Yeah. So it's it's uh, less less than 24 hours after a fight with Denis Titlenko, probably probably most wanted fight in last decade. Ah. <laughs> we we saw that you tried to do everything. I did. So yeah, I did. How, how do you feel today? How do you feel uh, after fight? Yeah, I'm sore. I I wasn't sure because uh, I, I'm fine. I am. I'm not injured. Physically fine. Mentally fine. I. <laughs> I'm, I'm as fine as I can be. You know, I've had, I just lost to Michael and now I've lost to Dennis. So, two nice losses, both very different. Um, and look at, I love to, everybody loves to win. Winning is the greatest thing. But uh, it's really good for me because I have now so much, I've been taught so many lessons. Uh, and every time you lose, that's what it is, right? It's like pedagogically. From from the side of it, it's always better to lose but learn from that. Right. Yeah. So uh, that's how you grow. That's, that's you true. Get. That's true. And I, I've learned a lot from I learned a lot from Dennis. Um, you know, because I did I executed my plan. Uh, like I thought about Dennis, and when I saw the weights he was moving, and he's not, and these movements were not like. Not, not specific arms. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I think they were. Not, not all of them. Look at the. I'm not talking about his stuff, his curls. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about when Igor went. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you know, when I saw that, when I saw those numbers, I'm like, okay. I'm like, he's like. So just so you know, like I, I do those same lifts from time to time. Okay. And when I put a strap here and come back, my form is going to start to break around uh, probably before 60 kilo. So it could be like a 20%, 30% strength difference? So it's a significant percentage. Yeah. It's not like... But did you feel the same strength difference on the table? That, that uh, you feel, really felt that you are like 20% weaker? Well, uh, it's a really hard evaluation to make because I felt like I actually was able to get to the positions that I really wanted to get to in the setup and uh, um, but yeah he is maybe a good 20 30 percent stronger yeah. you that's, know? That's what, I, what I talk that if it would be like five percent maybe 10%, you, can work with you could yeah, leave maybe. him out you could work yeah, him out. yeah but it wasn't here here you you just no. didn't get maybe if he had a played with me the way he did in round yeah. the whole time yeah and maybe, and maybe yeah but still that's that's unbelievable i i was talking with a lot of russians before and uh same alexei alexander budenko we were talking yeah. five minutes ago yeah. and, and and others they, they said dennis is super prepared he's healthy he's hungry he's angry and he's probably better than ever so, yeah he yeah. was really, really prepared for that match. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad. He, I'm glad he was because it's uh, it's nice for me. I get to go home and uh, you know tell the story about how strong this guy is and hopefully motivate a lot of people because a lot of people look at me and they're like, you know, and then when I tell them about this guy, they're gonna be like, oh my god, okay, we gotta come together. What about your preparation? Are you see some mistakes with your preparation? I don't think did, I no. Like you, you, you think you did all best you could here's the thing when it comes to preparation uh, like I I had a period of time to work with and I think that knowing what I knew about Dennis I think that I made the best preparation that I could I don't regret what I did in my preparation yeah but if I were to face him again um, I need to actually be stronger strong yeah. I need to be stronger to face Dennis uh, do you and think you can get that Mm, I have to think about it. <laughs> you know, I need to go home because uh, it's hard choice. Look, at, I love arm wrestling. I want to do it until I die, and I, and I don't want to die anytime soon. <laughs> so I have a lot to think about. Um, so uh, I, I don't know if it's possible, um, but I know that arm wrestling progression isn't always a straight line. Sometimes things happen, and a lot of it has to do with your joints and the health of them. Sometimes all of a sudden you get really tight in a spot, and you have something yeah. special. That's always thing. Like we, we can't we can't say that De Dennis is uh, best or Dennis strong. Yesterday, Dennis was stronger and was actually sorry, but much stronger. Yeah. 
No, what, what will happen tomorrow? What will happen on Mars? We don't know. But yesterday, yeah. Dennis was incredible. He was incredible. I, uh, I, funny thing. One of the things when we were warming up, you know, when we did that press conference, yeah. and so we're gripping up, yeah. and and then uh, so I'm really trying to just get him just to work with me a bit, just yeah. anything I can feel. And then the thing that I'm never going to forget is we shifted to the right hand, and as we shifted, I'm looking at his bicep, and I'm looking at it, and it, I feel like I'm looking at the side of somebody's ass. <laughs> like it looks like a, it looks like a glute. Yeah. It, it's like a butt cheek. It's double, yeah. double head, right? It's it's like double a head. Butt cheek. I'm like, oh my, and like what I can that? see the tendon, and I'm like, oh my god, it's like. Yeah. When when I, when a lot, lot of people were uh, discussing about this uh, press conference and and, and your uh, warm up before fight, and uh, actually when people ask me about that. Uh, I think it it wasn't uh, best for you because uh, I think you 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 understand what you will face tomorrow and it it, it, it was uh, it, 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 it give you extra extra stress extra because you felt how strong how 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 I mean, really yeah, strong he is. Yeah, I I kind of knew he was gonna be like I already knew he was strong. I think that it probably was better for me because I had a theory um, going into it. Everybody told me, everybody told me that don't try and hook Dennis. I heard it from every single person that I talked to. Yeah. And um, everybody said, attack his hand, attack his hand, attack his hand. Um, but there was a big part of me that thought that I could maybe get yeah. tight and press. And I've, I've noticed, I've arm wrestled a lot of people. And sometimes people, when they're really big and strong, they cannot get as tight. So when they hook, they're a bit more open. Also, also Dennis can't. Yeah, he's, he's always wide open, open, but he can hold. Yeah. Right. He can hold. Yeah. So I thought, okay, maybe, I'm like, maybe if I just really get in there, there might be a spot. So We were talking about that before the fight, and, and you said, at least you know, I think in my mind, I could do this right. and, and go with Rice's press. Right. But, so we were afraid I, to do this in the first. No, I it, right. So I waited. I was so. watching how you change and change yeah, in your yeah, mind yeah. and in your position and we in one moment even like, thinking happen, you no. will do this and, and then we'll try this. But I, I did try it. Um, I I haven't actually watched the video again. But my plan was to do it in the third, and I think that I did do it in the third. Uh, so I think it went for the first two rounds. I basically exclusively targeted his hand, yeah. and that was my plan. And then in the third was when I was gonna hit him inside. And I think that I did that. I think it was the fourth round when he just killed me, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think the third round, I got in, I got my spot, and that's when he opened my chest and I felt myself like starting to rip and I was like, oh my god, he's and, and then I walked away from the table and I went up to Vaskin and I'm like, okay. Um <laughs> It's pretty much done. That, that's what we talked before the fight. So yeah. Is the dif difference in power? Yeah. If, if if the difference would be like as Jan said, five ten percent, you could work with it. Yeah. Ten percent. Do you think Dennis is right now the strongest left hand arm wrestler in the world? Well, so I've faced um, when it comes to like really really great left handed arm wrestlers that I've pulled. I'd say uh, I pulled Andre Pushkar. And now he pulled me totally wrong, okay? Uh, but I, I knew how great he was. He just, he fell for every single silly thing that I did. Um, he was really great, but very different. Very different from Dennis. Um, I've pulled Oleg, but I pulled him a long time ago. Um, and he's progressed a lot. Um, I've pulled uh, Travis. Travis, quite a lot. Uh, and out of these ones, and, and now Dennis, so these would be in my mind the four greatest that I've pulled. I would say that uh, to add to this, I could add two people that I haven't pulled who I would consider at this time to be maybe very, very uh, likely to be on that list. is Levon and uh, Vitaly. Vitaly, Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, I think out of all of them, Vitaly actually may have the most potential to reach the highest level. Uh, but I don't know. Travis. I've never, I've never pulled Travis when he was that strong. Okay, Travis is very tricky, very crafty, and he's able to uh, manipulate situations very well. But so you feel Dennis is the strongest arm wrestler left hand you have ever met on table. Yeah. That could be true. Oh, I, I think, I think it's very easy for me to say yes. Yeah, like there's nobody who's just held me like a kid and <laughs> been like just do whatever and like that's never happened before never happened. no no so yeah he's the best that i've i've felt so